Ah, yeah, it's the Beast and King and the Rat King. Rat King. I used to listen to Backstreet Boys sometimes. I didn't play it, but if somebody else played it, then I would hear it. You wouldn't tell them to turn it off. Mm -mm. I don't either. I would be like, oh, these guys are bitches, and then I would like kind of enjoy it. Me too. That shit's weak. (laughs) (laughs) I enjoy a nice Backstreet. Do you? Yeah, bro. We grew up on a back street, so I guess I'm familiar. Like, but that that's not what they were talking about. It was like they were talking about like kind of sexy shit. Yeah, something you can man. relate to it though. Young men and a lot of them had glitter on them. Glitter, yeah. A lot of them were freshly shaved, especially the men sync boys. You remember in sync? Oh, in sync. Uh, now that was different because they had JT Justin Timberlake. For those of you that don't know, he's yeah. the lead of that band, oh, and you dude. could just see the talent ooze from his pores like he was gonna ditch those losers and move on and do big things yeah the one guy just had sideburns that was his only skill and then the other (laughs) the other one looked like a muppet baby yeah i mean jt was like the basically probably one of the top six or seven wiggers of all time i think whoa (laughs) easy no wigger no jt come on bro bro he's and i wish you could see his 23 and me results i bet you think there's some... Oh, he's definitely... Why, because he can dance? I mean, he can do different... He's very Insane. faceted, yeah. you know? He's multi... Look at him. He's like a he's like a Sammy Sosa-colored uh, yeah. Jamie Foxx. He's like Sammy Sosa's blue-eyed son, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how he looks. Um, the rest of that band sucked, though. Um, Happy New Year. Yeah, you too, man. 2019, yeah. baby. 2019, Coming King of the Sting with it, the dude. King and the King Sting. King of the Sting, it, bro. Don't fucking it, bro. touch me, dude. Don't touch me, dude. <laughs> Oh, Don't it's cool! Me. It's cool you wore your fucking uh, overall. What the fuck? What is this? What, what is what? this? I'm glad you wore your long johns into the these studio aren't long, today, dude. These are 100 percent cotton. Yeah, that's what long johns are, bro. Yeah, well, these thank are all, you for dressing up today. This isn't you know artificial stuff. This is 100 percent cotton, dude. Whatever, bro. You look like a backup dancer for Beyonce or some shit right now. <laughs> like you're like you're going through rehearsal or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> is, do we do we have rehearsal today? Yeah. Do you look like a, you look like rehearsal for Nickelback, <laughs> even though they don't have dancers. <laughs> Bro, you, I, you, dude, you look basically. You're like a fat guy, dude. That's shaped well. That you're not even work. really strong. That doesn't even work, dude. Yeah. That you're doesn't like, work. You look like Jared Leto's side piece. <laughs> dude, whatever. <laughs> like he dressed you this morning. Was like, put those, put the fucking pajamas back on. You're not even so strong. So I can suck your dick when I want. What? <laughs> look these at are the pajamas. fucking pants, bro. And these are eggshell white, and these are 100% cotton. Yeah, bro. Those are long johns where I come from, they're not, dude. They're not long johns. Yeah, they are. They're very relaxing. Yeah, whatever, dude. Um, yeah, dude, you're not even, you're basically, I thought about this yesterday, dude. You're kind of like uh, a fat guy, you know? Why, you're not though? even because. <laughs> Just get out. Wait, I'm not strong? Well, yeah. I saw you working out, bro. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Dude, yeah. you got the body of Kermit the Frog <laughs> oh, if he's dude. vegan, son. Well, that's, like, dude, I have Lord. You have a flat ass. Well, really? <laughs> yeah, bro. You got that, you're the only dude in Louisiana with a flat ass. Then why, if I, you know, soiled myself in kindergarten or whatever, the backup pants they would give me were from this other boy named Bert that had Down syndrome. Oh, and they got dumpers on. Oh, dude. They got That's the a good J point. in the tray, baby. Dude, they got junk in the Trizong. Oh, all of them. LA it's face science, with a DS bro. booty. Yeah, You know dude. what I'm saying? LA face with a DS booty. Ghetto booty. But yeah, dude, I've realized you kind of look like you're well-molded kind of fat. But very contoured fat. It's like you're not. Yeah, some so, some some say it's a figure. It's you know like, what I'm saying? It's a figure. Yeah, yeah it's a figure. It's just bro. soft. And bro. yours yours is like you you're built like Kermit the Frog. Like I saw you working out. I was like, oh wow, that is not inspiring at all. <laughs> well, look, dude, like I'm that all... must be years of the drugs you did, and it just gave you how how you can be a, how you can be addicted to coke and have that body. Like oh. usually people are shredded, bro. Well. <laughs> like how. Well, look, I'll tell you this. When I first did cocaine, the first time I ever bought it, I thought it was a um, performance-enhancing drug. That's what somebody told me. Which it is. Yeah, and I did a couple grams. I ran about eight miles when I was at Louisiana State. In about seven minutes. I ran pretty quick, and then I jumped over a fence into somebody's backyard, dude, and uh, it got a little bit dicey, but it was, um, you know, it was nighttime. Um, So you're good, bro. 
We brought yeah. in we brought in the New Year's the right way, man, at the comedy store. At the comedy store, yeah. It was a good show, man. It was a fun show. That was really fun. It was fun. We made it happen and we're still alive. And we got a, an opportunity to make King It or Sting It. That's right, dude. And uh, shout out to all the people who made King and the Sting the number one podcast in the world. Yeah, everybody. Like think who was that? The Middle East. Oh, I think really? The Middle East watched this mainly. Slims, they call East. them Muslims. We call them Slims. <laughs> the Slims? Oh, shoot. all right. And who else did it? Them Bix, Arabics. The Chinese, the knees. Uh, Just call them knees. The knees. Thanks for making this number one, knees. Yeah, them knees, boy. How about the Reens? Um, Koreans. People from Iran. Iran? Iran, Marines? yeah. The Reens, yeah. Koreans, the Marines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or them lepers. People that are actually just lepers. And they I have leprosy. To it. They listen to it. But no, thank it you very much. One. It and did These are just pilots. You know what I'm saying? Like We're still trying to figure the format out. This like, is We got pilot. some new shit for you guys today, too. Yeah. We're still doing Debate Club, King or Sting It. Yep. We, we got, got a couple some, of other. We got some shit for you. Yeah, we're gonna come up with a new. We're gonna launch a new topic at the end today, and um, let's get into it. Yeah, huh? man. And the next week we kick the official show off because we're in our new studio, baby. <sighs> Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. I am nervous, uh -uh. Man. Don't be scared. Uh -uh. I feel overwhelmed, kind of. Do you? Back streets, back. back. All right. Yeah, it makes me feel a little bit better, but still, I feel overwhelmed. Yeah, watch your mouth when you talk about JT, though. Oh, uh, dude. Should we kick this off, dude? Let's kick it. Debate club first. Oh, debate club first, huh? Debate, bro. From our mascot. Oh, he's back. Gang, 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 <laughs> gang, 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 gang. The human gopher here, reporting for duty, motherfuckers. King of the Sting by the way of Theo, the best of the best, Rat King Bond, and the former UFC MMA assassin, the Sting, Brendan Schaub. To answer your question, it would be an honor to be a mascot for your show. Just tell me what I need to do. I'm from yes. Saratoga Springs, New York, 40 minutes north of Albany. I am a Trebox from age 14 to 24, mad, and I still make a cameo at the gym once in a while. Cameo. I'm 33 now, and most people find me somewhat entertaining, but who's to say? What? I have a debate that easily could have come up by now, man. so I'm going to mention it. Pot versus alcohol. Which one do you prefer, and which one's worse for you? Gang, 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 gang. Ho! Pot versus alcohol. Debate that shit, boy! <laughs> Is that Joey Diaz? <laughs> I mean, real quick for the listeners in general, we don't need a full bio like that. Yeah, we don't. He, he gets a pass. He gets a pass. He's 20 minutes north of Albany, <laughs> and I'm, you take a left off Morrison Street. I'm there. I live with my mom. I'm in the basement. You see the fucking hole. When I got upset, she wouldn't give me my dinner. I went, bam, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there is you couldn't see this uh if you're not watching on the youtube there's a hole in the wall right behind this guy and this is one of those familial holes this is a family induced hole correct and this hole came there was a lot of stuff that happened before this someone hole. say domestic violence yeah yes they call it dv boy the mom was into doing something that he wanted and he got very upset yeah this is only warm <laughs> janet <laughs> you know but uh all right pot versus alcohol you uh, you you pick first man this debate week. club well yeah. I can't drink alcohol right now, so I'm going to go with, and I can't use pot either, but I will, I'll will. i go with pot. I'm going to go with pot. You taking pot? Yep. All right, that means I got alcohol. Okay. Go ahead, bro. I'll say this about pot, man. Pot is something that you can easily, you can use it a lot of different ways. Smoke it. Hide it in your body. You could put it in your butt. You could drip it. Cannabinoid oil. You can um, put it in a smoothie. Pot, you can take a hit off of a pot blow it into a buddy's face or into a girl's mouth if you're trying to get her high and you or know an asshole i don't think you can blow it into her asshole dude that is very french i think but this is something you could get that hit and do something wild with it you could put it into a cake you know now you can do that with alcohol but it's only a couple of cakes rum cake and um you know gin jur snaps you know <laughs> so outside of that uh pot is that you know that 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 beautiful thing you can blow it into the air vents and get your folks all fucked up and do beautiful stuff with it and god made it <clears throat> nah man out this one's easy alcohol this one's super easy alcohol name any yeah, time we'll just say why it's easy yeah say here's it's the thing super easy. Name, name the time when you went to a fucking party and everyone's just smoking weed and dudes were getting their dick sucked <laughs> hell no you're having shots titties are out the alcohol's flowing liquid courage you ever heard of liquid smoke yeah. courage not me well, not 
never, bro. Not, it would be smoke never, dude. courage. Smoke the courage. Liquid's out. That doesn't. No, you can do both, bro. <laughs> smoke courage does not exist. Bro, liquid's... liquid courage does. So ugly dudes like you can hook up with hot chicks. <laughs> like That's you. why alcohol works, bro. Yeah. You don't have that haircut and get your dick sucked without girls being drunk. If they're high, they just laugh. This isn't a haircut. This is an upper ambiance. Whatever, you know bro. But when you're high, your hair looks even more ridiculous. <laughs> when you're drunk, it looks sexy. You well, should be going alcohol, bro. All right. I'm going to do frat parties. All right. Come to my party. Do you have any drinks? Nope. Just weed. All right. No one's getting their dick sucked. Well, you go to a party and they got all whiskey. Okay. It's getting wild. I respect your, I respect your side. I'm going to say this. My closing arguments will be this, but weed is that thing. You could blow it into the wind and let it go downhill and pick up a couple of babies and have them climb up the hill to come see you. You know what I'm saying? All right. You, you know, you spray a beer into the air and that bitch just kind of falls off to its side. You know, Not like last night, champagne was a popping. Champagne was no a popping last night. just lighting fucking reefer. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's but boring, a jaunt would have brought a Start couple a fire, people in. Bro. Start a fire. Yeah. Fires here in California. Weed. You chief up that jaunt, it's going to bring a couple of people in, you know? Again, everyone's laughing. Then they laugh at the way you dress, your hair. Alcohol, it makes you look cooler, dude. If you want to be drunk, <laughs> it, yeah, if you want to be drunk, man, be drunk, yep. you know? And I'll be high, bro. And when you're high, you meet people. You meet black guys and cool <laughs> stuff. You go to videos. When you're drunk, who do you meet? Huh? Uh, Satan. Yeah, people under bridges and trolls. Yeah, trolls, dude. And hot chicks. Good and the bad, bro. Trolls, hot chicks. But weed will make any chick feel hot, dude. I remember, bro, I remember being high. I mean, so high, dude. I felt like I had fucking six eyes, bro. And and four of them were in my fucking heart. Mm. And I remember making love to women in their bodies, dude. Even if their body had a little bit of a was kind of a junkyard, it felt beautiful. And really? that's marijuana. You know, you never you never hooked up with a a slumper when you're hammered. You never hooked up with a grateful two just because you were drunk. Because you both look kind of like fuck it. It's the end of the night. We we both been sipping on martinis. You look like shit. I martinis, look like shit. Martinis, dude. Martinis, bro. Where are you With drinking at Macaroni Grill? <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, you're living large, bro. Yeah, Nuh-uh, yeah, bro. son. I'd be at Chili's, bro. All right, you never had a full rack of ribs and a in couple beers deep and an awesome blossom and getting get dude, involved with that asshole. No many. How many appetizers you throw into it? <laughs> I'm not hooking up with a big gal for no reason, bro. You are if you're drunk, bro. Yeah. But if you're high, you're not because they're gonna look funny. I'm not. Dude. You're gonna think you're you're fucking with rhinoceros and hippos. <laughs> oh, no, dude. High makes high fucks your brain up, dude. Oh, you're talking about getting all South African, bro. Yeah, dude. Look, I'll get it. You know, call me the Animal Kingdom, bro. Yeah, call dude. me Steve Irwin, boy. You, you're drunk. You're grateful twos, dude. Grateful twos. It's called the Grateful Dead. No, you, they don't they don't kill them. No, you don't want to kill him. You don't want to kill him. Jesus, bro. <laughs> I, I'm going to say, dude, look, man. I don't think. I, I would rather do weed. And now this debate isn't over because it never ends here. Uh, and Nick and Chin have some more information for you fellas right now. It's just getting started. Yeah. Yeah, because every week we're going to be getting the fan responses on all every single one of these topics we're going to put out a friday episode that's all fan fan submitted you just have to get your submissions and your responses in the day this episode comes out by the end of the day wednesday yeah maybe a good time is what 11 p.m pacific standard boom what else we got pacific standard you guys God in the damn, damn navy fucking... <laughs> that's what we live in driving a <laughs> we need those videos ship 2300 hours <laughs> <laughs> or even midnight wow. 11 pacific central time number two roberto morales Oh, yeah. All right. Spanish, Yo, baby. what up, Theo? What up, big dog? The fuck is this is Roberto coming out of the Bay Area, California. And I uh, want to see if you guys wanted to debate a quick topic for me. Yeah, Fucking, uh, I'm talking about real deal. No Taco Bell shit, Mexican food. And like some real deal, no Panda Express shit, Chinese food. What do you got? What, what do you got? Mexican versus Chinese. Get, it's getting racist in this mug. So, uh. You know where I'm going with. Sure, you guys take it easy. Viva la Russia, peace. No, I don't. Viva know la Russia. He's from Russia. <laughs> Viva la Russia. Was he on top of the fucking bridge? Wow. Where was he? Well, first of all, that looks guy like was in a fire. Fires. Yeah. Or it looks like he was high as shit. Or he was cooking something. Yeah, it's tough to tell. Shout out to that dude. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm kicking Morales. this one off, Senor Morales. I'm kicking this one off. 
This one's so fucking easy. Obviously, my girl's from Guadalajara, so I eat a lot of authentic Mexican food, bro. <laughs> Guadalajara. I eat a lot of quesadillas. And the thing is, is Mexican food, authentic Mexican food, fucking destroys authentic Chinese food. Name some authentic Chinese food you've ever had. Dude, Mexican food, if you ever you ever had real mole or fucking salsa or taquitos or fucking flantas, you ever had any of that, bro? You ever had, uh, you ever had sopa? Or, uh, <laughs> or fucking pozole. You ever had pozole? What? Huh, bro? Dude, bro. Yeah, you ain't ready, bro. I've had some bad pozole been in educated, my life, bro. bro. I've had some dirty pozole in my life, brother. Trust me, I lost my virginity behind the uh, but Tiffany Lane's bowling alley over there for of Highway 190. Dude, a good... It's still in operation. A good fucking fish taco, like some authentic Mexican fucking food, Well, bro. fish is an is a Asian dish. If we're Now you're incorporating my side of the net. Nah, And bro. what I want to say is this, dude. First of all, yeah, Mexican, you basically shoot anything, put cheese on it, brother. You know what I'm and saying? Beans. And igualmente, you know, papa. Yeah. But what I'm saying is this. Chinese food comes from... I've had great Chinese food. Chezwan. Um, Kung Pao. No, General So's, fucking General grilled Tao. koi. I General that damn Tao. grilled koi, brother. And that shit's probably about ninety dollars a slice. Dude, I'll give you beef and broccoli, but other than that, you ain't shit. Beef and broccoli, bro. <laughs> that's why, dude. That's from the Netherlands, bro. Or something. I'll give you sweet and sour chicken. Outside that, though, Mexican food fucks you up, dude. I've had real Chinese food where you're eating it, and a Chinese dude come and just kick you in the fucking neck. Oh man. Really? Yeah, dude. I'm talking about beheading each other. I'm talking about you can taste in the fucking distance. You can taste your ancestors fucking looking for fertile soil, brother. Dude, I heard when you eat uh, ramen noodles that the seasoning is uh, Chinese man sweat. Is it really? That's what I heard. Powdered down? Powdered. Powdered, powdered sweat. Oh, wow. Yeah. I could see that if you had enough of it and you really cooked it down. But Chinese versus sodium. Mexican. Look, bro. Name a real Chinese food. Dumplings? Yeah. Duck, you guys eat a lot of fucking duck. Oh, the Chinese. Duck is the worst. <laughs> Greasy as fuck. Duck's so easy to kill. Okay. You play Duck Hunter on Nintendo? Easiest game there is. Dude, I've definitely, I've uh, look, I've caught a bunch of duck. And I'll say this, duck, probably one of the four or five easiest birds to catch. E super easy. Turkey, so, duck. One, yeah. two. Pumpkin. And I've been in China when I've seen somebody, they grab a duck by the... What is the, the top long neck, part coming the out of it? long, stupid neck. The neck, yeah. The neck. And then they grab it, and then they just flip it over and beat it right against F the ground. Dude, Chinese don't give a fuck. You, you, you don't want to be a duck. You don't want to be a female in yeah. China, dude. Dude, I was in Vietnam. We paid a guy $40 to kill a pig right in front of us, you know? Oh, that's it? Dude, Mexican food, bro. First of all- Shit it, your pants. Oh, very. Shit your pants. Yeah. You get the right kind of picante and cilantro, <laughs> you get some of that, bro, you will shit your pants. Why do you say it Mole? like that? That's how they talk, dude. Really? Yeah, I've been around it. Wow. But it's the same thing. They got four ingredients, bro. It's like Taco Bell. You realize a gordita is just a double decker with some sour cream yeah, on the top? the same thing. You realize the tostada is a Mexican pizza just folded twice? <laughs> and a lot of that lettuce that you guys are making right now is bad. So you guys have a lot of bad lettuce. Well, on the you're, now you're front. referring to Chipotle. Yeah. And I will say this. Chipotle makes the best goddamn taco on planet Earth. Do they really? Yeah, bro. You get that soft taco mm -hmm. with the white fucking rice, mm -hmm. white only, mm -hmm. and they put the chicken on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. That sounds Can't good. Can't beat that, bro. Dude, you know uh, what? You ever, I don't you ever, even want you ever Chinese had a good, food anymore. You, uh, right? You ever had a good Chinese food truck? No. You've got a good fucking Mexican truck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. If somebody had a gun full of Mexican food, this is how I made my decision just now. If somebody had a gun full of Mexican food or a gun full of Chinese food, and I'd let one of them shoot it right into my fucking mouth. You don't want that fucking orange chicken flying down your throat. Oh. No, you want that. You want that con queso. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I want some of it to fucking land on my yeah, back, that you know? that con queso on your fucking, that button <laughs> nose of yours, bro. Dude, this is not, it's a very unique <laughs> no, nose, No, it's good, bro. bro. I'm saying a button nose is a good thing. Some of my family's from Nicaragua and Rome, you idiot. Yeah, I know, bro. Let's cover it with cheese, bitch. And I can't even breathe that good. Yeah, I hear you. But, um... All right, dude. All right, what else we got? So I can't. Well, then the last thing I'll say about this Chinese food. I'll give you guys orange chicken. Okay. And I'll say this about Chinese food. It is the, it's good right when you order it. That's it, though. It, and it it loses its value immensely. By the minute. Oh, it is the Bruce Willis. What's that movie he was in? It's Drop the, Dead Fred. What is the movie he was in? <laughs> uh, die Hard. Die Hard. It's the Die Hard of, of 
cuisine. See? Because that shit starts ticking time. Pop quiz, hot shot. Pop quiz, bro, hot shot. 40 minutes later, it is, it's like eating drywall, bro. It's the worst. Now, Mexican foods like Clint Eastwood oh, food, yeah. everything's good. For a long time. Forever. Yeah. That shit's good. It stands up over time. Oh, yeah. Go heat up an enchilada from last week. Delicious. But build a wall right outside of my ass because... <laughs> <laughs> you cannot uh that stuff's coming out it's coming over Build the wall. <laughs> that's coming over bro it's too that stuff is coming over all right what else we got all right number three from keith mcavoy <clears throat> and what do, what do you got shout out to all the keys out there bro. there's a lot of keys a lot of keys yeah, a lot of keys out there. And yes, uh, let us know what you think about Chinese food versus Mexican. Yeah, and please. what do you think? Give us Chin better is, points than us. We, we, why don't we go to a damn source right here? Well, Chin's not Chinese. He's not Korean. Chinese. That's, yeah, like asking, that's like asking a guy from Argentina what he thinks of Mexican food. No, it's like asking a guy from Louisiana, well, what the fuck are people from Alabama like? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know. Chime in, but I got some ideas, dude. <laughs> what do you not think, Not you Chin? fucking baby gap. Look at you. Jesus Christ, what, bro. Why you, you, you get racist? Why Chin have to know about Chinese? Because you're from not, Korea, bro? Huh? And you call him a Chinese chink earlier i didn't call him a chink i said okay. that's their team name <laughs> no and they got married in you, hollywood you call him a chink i would never say that about i you. heard it that he's not even from china the auto. <gasps> he's well, from korea you idiot i know bro but that that that's offensive wherever you're from how is it you offensive? call me a chink i take offense huh it's my what i'll call you something <laughs> you f go ahead get racist keith, bro. here's keith uh mcavoy this all right Irish guys pop. i got something for y'all to debate me and my roommate, who's not here at the moment. Why is one eye bigger than the other? We trying to see who's hotter. Margot Robbie or Rihanna? I don't know, man. Y'all help us. Oh, fellas, fellas. This Dude, is a tough one. One eye isn't bigger than the other, bro. We can't put that in there. That's going to break that fucking guy's heart, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's life, bro. Like if someone goes, oh, Brent Schaub, whatever, <laughs> I, ears are fucked up, face is fucked up, looks like he got stung Keep by a going. bunch of bees. Keep going. That's life, bro. <laughs> I came out my mama's womb like this. That's just me. That's like seeing a fucking dolphin be like, that thing's great. <laughs> One of his eyes is bigger than the other. I wombed up like this. What's I wombed up? I wombed I up Stay woke, like bro. This. One of your eyes is bigger than the other. Not a big deal. You're he, right. He more posed the question than made fun of him. He was just like, why is one eye bigger? That's I'm, fair. That's fair. Okay. And maybe question. he's like, it's not. I'm high as fuck. Or I'm a pirate in the off. You know <laughs> what I'm true. saying? Like in my off time, I fucking, I'm a pirate for kids. Well, I'll say this. That man right there, he seemed like he's from another country. And he said he had a roommate who I didn't see, which sounds mm. like a Dateline episode. It sounds like he's lying. <laughs> and what did he ask about? Uh, Rihanna or uh, Margot Robbie? Margot uh, Robbie. I don't even. I, I don't like Rihanna. So because she's just what? overused. You oh, oh fuck! Oh boy! Sakes, Nick, how dare you? Theo, get your boner ready, bro. Get that little boner <laughs> spice the fuck up. Like, la, like little outside. boner? Because you're going to order more pants to hold it. Well, they're so fucking tight. I can see your dick wrinkles from here. Well, quit looking down there. <laughs> well, There's a lot of the rest dude, of me should look talk at. talk shit about Rihanna. Me too. Look at Rihanna, bro. Let me How see more dare of dare you? Look at that chocolate skin. Mm. And she likes it with a dick taste. She looks like Reggie Miller, but way hot. <laughs> wow. That is... Fucked <laughs> up, bro. You hurt my feelings, man. You hurt my feelings. That's my girl. I'm gonna take offense to it, dude. I'd like to see her and John Starks fucking go at it. <laughs> Damn, bro. And John Starks is not the guy from. Um, He's not Iron Man. Game of Thrones. Are you thinking of Iron Man? Who's the one I get to cheer for? You pick Margot first. Robbie. You bro. said you hate Rihanna, so you okay. have Margot, I'll take Margot Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, because I love Rihanna. And who is he? British guy. <laughs> Margot Robbie. <laughs> nah, man. Come on, Wolf of Wall Street. I saw Wolf of Wall She's Street. She's Australian. Put another shrimp Ooh. on the Barbie. Oh, wow. Dimey, dimey, bro. Dude. You ain't her type. I'll tell you that right now. Bro, I am her type. She's <laughs> hey, looking at me in that she photo. She ain't your type. I'll tell you that right now. Can I see another photo of her so, 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 so I can see more of her? Unless you meet her at an AA meeting, you ain't getting a sniff of that girl, hey, bro. Hey, hey, hey. How about them tats, you know? Boy, she, she got, got them real heat sacks, huh? Yeah, bro. A couple one-two flousers. Dude, I would break my neck just to fucking... I'd, I'd sh I I'd would saw off my Whoa. pinky toes for her. Wow, that's all her, huh? Would you cut off your ear to fuck her? No. Really? Yeah. Dude, Vince, she that, is that's a, a Vincent Vangina you're talking about, dude. dude she got I ain't that cutting off my ear to fuck anybody. Couple wants that jaw on her too, bro. 
Um, now, tell me about this young God. lady. Does she seem like a nice person? Oh, yeah. She'll suck you dry, bro. <laughs> Well, anybody could suck you dry, dude. Nah, you know? but she's, you know, hell yeah, she's nice. But a security guard outside will suck you dry right now if you jump his car. His car's broken out no, there. No, I'm not looking for that. Does he look like her? But does she seem like a nice person? You know, I don't know her personally. I'm sure she's fucking fine. I don't know. I, and now, if I, if, if I had to bet who's the more loving person between her and Rihanna, Rihanna's going to fuck you proper and then dip out the next morning. Really? And never call you again. But she fucked that boy who almost died on that roller skate. Are you talking uh, about Chris Brown? No. uh Sean Kingston. Did she? Yeah. She was also fucking some Arab dude who's like super rich. She was like a prince. Yeah, anybody could do she that. She's a toilet girl, I think. Well, I don't know what that is. Dude, you, you're you're so immature. You really? don't know what a toilet girl is? Uh-uh. It's like, like you, a cleaning lady? Mm, no well kind of but um for all of you that don't know what toilet girl is you know when you're on instagram you just see some smoke show she's like on a yacht in dubai and you're like god yeah. damn what's she doing in dubai the next picture she's on like a fucking penthouse but no one else is around oh yeah well those rich arabs fly them out right like by the boatload these really? instagram girls yeah and make them do something strange for some change like they handcuff them to a toilet and then fuck their mouth and stuff oh my god yeah yeah but then they come back out here and they got 200k in the bank i'll be a man. toilet boy <laughs> i'll be a toilet man bro king and sting it toilet men what we'll film from dubai i don't even know where i am anymore i feel like i'm on a watch <laughs> list now i don't want to dude i'm just that. educating you on the way i'm shutting this down dude i'm not talking about this if this is the kind of stuff that they're talking about <laughs> debate club i'll take margot robert you get fucking robert. what's his name rihanna <laughs> you, i don't know who, who who mark robert is but i'll take rihanna bro you fine go out there with rihanna who's been on a boat and fucking people in the bathroom or whatever you mean living bro yeah living i guess sure yeah living the best life yeah sounds really you meanwhile great, you're dude. who who has the best 401k <laughs> whatever bro who who who's in bed by nine <laughs> Marco Rob. i don't give a fuck Give what else we got bro yeah, you guys me. chime in someone give me a better argument yeah than, what do you guys and she has a 401k us yeah, I take oh. Margot. Really? Yeah, Chin's 100%. racist though, so don't. No, I'm not racist. He's out. You you, you date whites or what? You ever date a black girl? I've hooked up with a black girl. No, no, no. Oh, you wow. dated, not dated. Where at? Was it no. off of Van Nuys o- Van Nuys Boulevard? <laughs> no. Did she have a thing on her ceiling that was like reflected, but it wasn't a mirror? No. Was that Takaya? Different. What's Takaya? Uh, Mexican place. Why would it be at a Mexican place? Same. No. I met her in Fullerton. Brought her back to Chino. Whoa. Yeah. This sounds like a beautiful country song. I know, <laughs> Met her in Fullerton. Did you play rap music? No. Nah, nothing like that. Well, I, don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm believing the story. It's very vague, Ask isn't it? Ask me anything you want. Yeah. We're asking yeah. you. We have no information. I know. There's zero. What was her name? <laughs> I don't remember her name. Hmm. Interesting. That's a lot of <laughs> she went to a different school. Was she, <laughs> <laughs> was she tall? Yeah, she went to a she different tall. school. <laughs> she was tall, and she was actually really dark. And that's one of the reasons why I was like, might as well try this. Oh, She's very dark, 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 yeah, brother. dark. What about Nick? I've uh, dated a half, a half black, half Italian, and she was way more Italian. Uh, but that doesn't yeah. count, right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little yeah. dicey. You over need there, that yeah? dark spark, dude. I'd watch. <laughs> I'll buy. Yeah, I'd love. I've watched both you guys make love to a, you know, someone of different descent. Yeah, you know? me too. I but prefer, but I Rih- that. Rihanna's always been my my number one celebrity. I, see, she she tops really the list. Bro. She Hell tops yeah. the list. Because you know she can throw it down. Go watch the music video on Faithful. But how much is anybody throwing it down? I mean, it's just pussy and it's gravity, you know? like Dude, see, that's that's how I know you're a boring boy. That's how I know you're boring in the sack, bro. I am. You're lazy, huh? I'm not lazy, but I'm just, you know, I'd rather do other stuff most of the time. You know? (laughs) You sit back and you pull those fucking sweats just halfway down and leave your socks on? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Sometimes, bro. I mean, it depends on if it's cold out or not. Yeah, I feel you. You don't um, want your asshole in the air. What? No, nah, I don't do that, bro. I always keep my asshole covered during sex. Let man. us know what you think. What else you got? From Julius Koivuma. Oh, Chen. Okay. What? One of your guys. Hi, Theo and Big B. Uh, greetings from Sweden. I was just wondering which Ten football seconds. is the real football? The bullshit that you play in the U.S. On, or uh, the one that the rest of the... Fucking world place. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It is true. So uh, Theo picks first. Okay, so in this one, I will take... I'll take soccer. I'll take soccer. I'm going to take soccer because of this, dude. First of all, 
everybody can play soccer. There's a reason for that. The ball rolls. <laughs> yeah, okay? there's a reason everyone can play because it's a bullshit game. Carry on. Yeah. every That's, Not everyone can play football. Carry on. A lot more people have legs than have legs and arms. <laughs> and Correct. you have to have arms to play football. Correct. So, and a, a soccer ball rolls, dude. A football doesn't even fucking roll, bro. They took a ball and fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> so it can't even really do anything. Yeah. You know, it's stop and go. There's timeouts. There's referees. Dude, soccer, bro. These men. I mean, they're, you know, you could, br uh, you, I've seen a soccer player jump in the stands and breastfeed a child. <laughs> They'll do whatever, bro. Bro, they play year round. They play 45 minute halves. That's how you know it's a pussy game, but yeah. Dude, and they go the whole time. All types of people can play. Skinny people. There's no skinny people playing football. I don't see no Latinos fat can play. So I don't see whites can play. Soccer. It's a universal sport. Everyone can play soccer. That's because some basic football, shit. No, football is down to mostly black men, Tongans. And white occasional white quarterback white and Johnny McCaffrey or whatever that guy's name is. Johnny McCaffrey. Lance. And it's, that's it, brother. So you want a sport that, yes, everyone can play. And yes, it's a joy. And the ball fucking rolls, dude. Hey, here's the ball. Roll it to me. Oh, I got it. Pretty basic. It's soccer. some basic big shit. The thing I'll give you for soccer, though, is they're better looking. The, the Premier League players are some dime pieces, dude. All Everyone has sleeves. They make so much fucking money. They're playing in Portugal and fucking Spain and yeah. Morocco. They're playing God, by the beach. That's the best, yeah. man. In America, you want to play, what, Jacksonville, dude? And they fucking smoke their own mutt this, this year. This one's they tough, suck. especially I played some football in the day. This one's tough to defend just because you get brain trauma like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless yeah, your dude, quarterback you brain it's trauma, tough to make bro. it as a white dude. Dude, yeah. That's tough to argue. Football football over soccer. Soccer's fun. You don't get head trauma. Guaranteed money. You're playing all over the goddamn world. Everyone plays it. It's way bigger. Are you arguing for soccer too? Kind of, man. It's Damn. tough. This come from a football player. Yeah, dude. What else yeah. you got? I got nothing. Uh, let us know what you think, football or football. The last one, this is uh, King in the Sting history, our first on-air submission from a female. Maddie Brewster. Ooh. Oh, I used to fucking. Hello. Damn, girl. Theo. My name is Maddie. I'm from Austin, Texas. I had a debate for you guys. Would you rather have a girlfriend who is a 10, but she farts every three minutes and the farts are super smelly? Oh. Or have mm. a girlfriend who is like a six, but she's vegan and she's got two cats? Damn, baby Let me know. blue eyes. See ya. Damn, baby blue eyes. What's up, old blue eyes? Dude, don't try to rape some of the videos. <laughs> What's up, Frank Sinatra with a wig? Uh, <laughs> okay. Baby blues. Baby blues? Um, Thank you for that submission, young lady, Maddie Brewster. First female. Who are you going to go Ooh, with? That lady. is our first female submission. Uh, so it was it was a hot-ass girl who farts every three minutes? Smelly. And it's smelly, mm -hmm. or it's a, a, a decent girl who's a vegan with cats? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm allergic to cats, and vegans drive me nuts. And if she's just basic, I don't want to deal with that shit. I'll take the smoke show who farts up the place. Because what I'm going to do is get some thick-ass jeans that filters that fart. <laughs> and I'm going to put a silencer on her asshole. And then I'm going to I'm gonna figure out a diet, some sort of magic potion where she farts and smells like strawberries. So I just have this smoke show who's just dropping fucking freshener in the air <laughs> like this nonstop. <laughs> Like Peekaboo Street, but boom, <laughs> but boom, rainbows on that ass, rainbows, grape, pina colada next week, <laughs> banana this week. I don't know, bro, but she's a fucking smoke show. You fart all you want, girl, dude. She has thick pants. She has all this equipment on. A oh, she's gonna be sweating. No, she's gonna be she sweating like uh, she's Metroid. Look, like she's, you're dating Metroid, dude. She's gonna look point. like RoboCop, but you take all that <laughs> oh, off, yeah. she's gonna look fucking hot, dude. It's gonna take you seven hours and an Allen wrench to get that shit off, dude. <laughs> I like a girl who can fuck quickly on the fly. There's a smoothie around after. There's fucking flaxseed on your dick. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a real vegan fucking street queen. You nah, know? fuck that. The kind of girl she'll swing right into your bed off of a fucking vine. You know? It smells like kind hummus. of a girl. If you don't like, you're tired of dealing with her. She'll just jump in a blender and just fucking <laughs> smooth on out of your life. I'm talking about a girl who maybe puts a little bit of a carrot in your ass and a couple of beets under your eyebrows. That's you her know? getting freaky. Yeah, dude. Put that hummus down your taint. And the cats fuck in the distance, bro. They, oh. Yeah, they said cats, but they didn't say what kind of cats, dude. This bitch has the hairless lynxes. No, she has the hairless cats. <laughs> no. Oh, that dude. look like ball sacks. No, no, no. And all they eat is hummus and beets. Oh, and then those cats are farting. That's oh, what they don't tell you. Dude, cats those, fucking stink, bro. Those cats know all your secrets and live forever, yeah, bro. Yeah, here's the other thing. Vegans smell, dude. They do? Yeah. They smell like the goodwill. But you can use their hair to make wallets. <laughs> That's true. That's so, true. And if my lady And dies, they don't brush their teeth. Oh, they don't believe in fluoride. Yeah, more they, toothpaste for you. Yeah, they brush with peanuts. Did you know that? Do they, they really? They chop them up, make a paste. My brother is uh, so they smell like shit, highly dude. allergic to sesame seed oil. I well, just remember can't that. can't date a vegan then. Yeah. Dude, I'm taking a smoke show who fucking rips up the farts. I'm going to come up. I'm going to start. Literal a- smoke show, dude. You're talking about a girl. This girl, she's going to be on tour after a while. Opening up for fucking uh, that pants on the ground guy who used to be on um, American Idol. You're talking about Care Top? Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with my pants on the ground. I don't know that guy. <laughs> that guy, or one of those, you know, one of your boys, dude. Uh, who? The, what's that dance group? Jabberwockies. Obi-Wan, Jabberwockies. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly where you're going, bro. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi, don't fucking don't fucking touch, touch me, dude. Me, dude. <laughs> Shout out to fucking stupid vegans. What else we got? That's it for debate club today. But I win. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Yeah, Dude, I yeah, I guess, stuff. man. You oh, you got a uh, yeah. You don't sound good, dude. Yeah. All right, <laughs> it's time for king it or sting it. Let's do it. Uh, number one, and just like a debate club, let us know your responses after these guys king it or sting it, and we'll uh, put you in the second episode of the week. This one comes from Blake Hines. Ooh, Blake Hines out of Pittsburgh. Ooh, oh, he uh, makes ketchup. What's up, guys? My name is Blake I'm from Boston. Big fan of both years. King or sting for you is. How do you feel about nonviolent cults? Like an example, Chris D'Elia and his babies, or whatever they're called, were to Rabies. start a commune or something and do whatever it is cults do. Sex. King it or sing it. Let me know. And Thanks. Vitamins. Bro, here's the thing. Who the fuck enters a cult unless there's danger involved? Cult you call you mean group of friends? Like this is a cult here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not officially entering something. I'm not showing up all the fucking time every Monday afternoon to hang out with you guys. Yeah. Fuck well, then, that shit, bro. Then you don't know what it's like to be a teammate. <laughs> and I'll say this, that you cults. You look like a cult leader. Non-violent cults, dude. That could be anything. Family, <laughs> you know, gun owners, people that. Yogis. Yogis, yeah. A yoga. Motorcycle gang. Motorcycle gang. Um, Skateboarders. Mm, those fucking dudes seem violent. Every like once a year, somebody one of them hits the other one with a skateboard and fucking you know they get it on video outside of a Chevron. There's a stepmom group that meets off La Cienega. Yep, that's a cult. Stepmoms, steps yeah. kids, nonviolent cults, dude. Renaissance fairs. Oh, dude. I mean, wh- you know, Boy Scouts. That's a cult. I yeah. don't trust those motherfuckers. And Chris D'Elia's cult, bro. I don't trust them either. That ain't gonna end well. That thing is going to end... With everyone drinking Kool-Aid except Chris, and everyone dies. Well, a lot of the people are going to be drinking Kool-Aid because they're underage girls, probably. (laughs) That's why I'm guessing. (laughs) It's just in their natural (laughs) diet pattern. But I think if you want to do a nonviolent cult, I would start there. That's because you're in one, bro. Well, am I in one? I guess I am. I'm in a few. But when I was growing up, they had a group called Wham! Whites Against Mexicans. (laughs) And here was the kicker, though. Boy, we didn't have any Mexicans. So it was just a bunch of white guys that kind of hung out and enjoyed each other. And other's just talk company. shit. Yes. A but after a while, boys. if you've never seen a Mexican, there's not much to talk shit about. So it sounds like a group of good dudes getting together once a week, yeah. just shooting the shit. That's all it was. Over a couple of cold ones. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. And we were kids. So that's when beer really fucking hit you hard, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would say, do I support nonviolent cults, man? I say king it. I say king it too. Yep. All right, next video comes from Chuck Reeves. Is this Chucky Reeves? Oh, the Rat King, Superman? Beasting. My name's Chuck Reeves. I am the Beast host, and I am the owner of this wonderfully wonderful ginger face mullet that you see before you. Is that Chullet? King it well, or no sting business, it. Though. Beard extensions. 
Whether it's the clip-on type, the sew-in type, the lace fronts, or that spray-on bullshit. I know you're not necessarily beard aficionados. Theo, who I know doesn't love Allah with his baby face, and you with your glorious chin strap there, bee sting. What say you? The real beard, out. Damn, that's a handsome ass. That's dude. the real beard? Is that real or does he have extensions? I think his shit's real. Yeah, real. he's saying it's real. Dude, but- if you don't have a real one use, using extensions, get the fuck out my face, bro. <laughs> really? Hell yeah, that's like a girl with a push up bra. Then you get home, she releases those titties. Like, what the fuck, dude? You got the chest of Theo Vaughn. Well, with, him, you- with him, you know what I'm saying? You need that real shit. Mm. I'm not trying to get that fake shit, the clips and shit, extensions. How insecure can you be? If grow you, it shit, grow that shit out like a real man. You think so? Yeah. Well, look, man, a beard, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just hair coming out of your fucking body. If you want extensions, hell the fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> no, hell the fuck. You know fuck what I'm saying? No, bro. <laughs> bro, imagine a no. big, beautiful black girl with a fucking beard and a fucking big <laughs> Charlotte, you know? <laughs> and she got some jingle bells laced into that bitch, bro. Nah, a little man. fucking Christmas Not all of us are supposed to something. have beards, bro. That's huh? the way God made us. But Not everyone can have that thick beard. Imagine big Le Shelton, you know what I'm saying? And he <laughs> With grew a that thing out. You know, he grew that, you know, he's a... Uh, you know, he's a Mason and he's fucking a he Muslim and he's slice. doing it all. Yeah, he's Kimbo Slices. And he grew that shit out and he fucking, you know, he's getting that extension because he's going to, uh, you know, he's getting married. You talking about that Osama Bin Laden? And he wants that dragon tail fucking laced into that bitch, yeah. you know? And that's beautiful, man. That Mike Beltron. Yeah, imagine that. Why should, and some guys can barely grow a little. Like mine, if I try to grow a beard, there's a handprint where somebody was choking me when I was young and no hair will grow there. Yeah, mine just gets all <laughs> splotchy and- it's a, it's almost like a camouflage. Yeah, like God wanted me to survive. Oh yeah, like yeah. I just blend into the earth. <laughs> yeah, it just like, grows in patches. Yeah, you look like a it's pirate camo, that was bro. in a fire, bro. Yeah, it's camo, it's though, bro. It's natural camo. That's Fuck camo? extensions. I say uh, sting the extensions. I say king. King that dope ass beard though. Dude, sew a jingle bell into that bitch and enjoy your holidays. Dude, you're a terrorist. Thank you, beard. What else we got? All right, next one is from Justin Hathaway. Some more uh, facial hair talk. Yeah, and this guy's British, I guess. Yo, Brendan, Theo, Justin coming at you out of the great white north of Michigan. Uh, Theo, tight dick, strong erection. That was impressive. Thank you. I uh, like where you got working there. I've seen better. Uh, my uh, king of the sting it for you guys is mustaches. Creepy or cool? Uh, personally, I think it's about as sexy as it gets rocking a solid mustache. So uh, let me know what you think. King of the sting it, boys. Nah, bro. Every child molester ever mustache. You think? Every child molester ever hats. I think a mustache. <laughs> nah, mustache and sweats like you got on. But I don't judge you because I know you're a good dude. Well, you wear those sweats. You touch kids. Are- the thing is with him with the mustache, they're not cool anymore, man. Mustache. Unless you're Magnum PI, keep that shit away from me. Unless it's November and you're growing that shit out on purpose, you can't rock it, dude. Ask your girl about it. They don't dig them either, bro. Mustache? Unless you're a Mexican and you're doing it for, you know, it's just the way it grows in, you can't do it. Oh, they had a Mexican infant on the internet that had a mustache, and I thought it was beautiful, dude. And <laughs> That's the way it goes, it. bro. Yeah. I've seen girl, Mexican girls with thick mustaches, oh, yeah. better than mine, way better than yours. Well, Indian girls sometimes even have a mustache all on their neck. Are you talking about a beard? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see, I, I've seen fucking Indian girls with fucking mustaches on their forearms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Though, and yeah, they bro. and they fade it up like oh, a Philly really? fade, yeah. They fade up with a zero guard to <laughs> okay, two on the forearms, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, dude. Philly fade is what I call Some it. Some fucking hair bears out there. Hell yeah, bro. Now I'll say this, man: is that a mustache? I've had a mustache, man, and it is. There's something about when you lick your own mustache, it makes a little bit of blood run into your pecker, and mm. it's there's something you can't recreate that in the world. Just mm. that you ain't gay. Just no. Mm, okay. But just that when you do it, every time you lick your mustache, you know that something's dripping into your system, you mm. know? You ever it's kissed that another morphine. Man? It's such you need something more. You need to fucking Word. you know, you need to do something bad or fucking pet an animal real hard or fuck fucking a dude do something hard. nasty. Yeah, fuck no, a dude hard. Nothing That's, gay, yeah. you idiot. Well, I don't know. Talking about fix a truck or go for a run or a fast, fast run downhill. And that's manly to you. Well, something. You gotta do something. <laughs> and right. that only comes when you lick a fucking mustache. Not you licking your fucking soft 
the ass up her lip. What kind of <laughs> dude? Fucking what, look at your pervert. shit. What are you fucking Kevin Bacon? What the fuck is that? I got that what light is that growth, right baby. Now? You got that what? I got that light growth. You got that son. super light growth. You know, I got that. Word you got that seventh Papa. grade Mexican girl growth, bro. <laughs> do whatever you got to do, bro. <laughs> it ain't for everyone, is it? Hey. I can't grow a thick mustache. You can't? No. Well, get your shit together, man. You're fucking 40, 50 years old. <laughs> grow your shit out, dude. You know? But what I'm saying is when you lick that thick, something happens to you. And you can only do that with a mustache. It's a gentleman's gesture to grow a mustache it is and you can't solve a crime without a mustache mm, look at dateline nbc or 78 you know days or whatever that fucking show is first 64 who's the most famous mustache right now <laughs> sherlock holmes dude dude right now bro not your old ass stories oh when you're james a kid. harden no he has a he, mustache like shit, he has a fucking dude. just beard, play bro. fucking basketball who has a mean ass mustache i can only think of old ones like the tom Selleck's and the right like name a current dude who's just rocking mustache killing chin me, mm. dan severin uh, dude hey <laughs> this is old school shit chin has a mustache now i do i like, just recognize that I, yep, I like a black dude you're the first chinese dude i've ever seen with hey. facial hair yeah korean, uh, fuck bro. korean i mean <laughs> yeah He's Korean, dude. Fucking get it dude, right. Dude, name a Korean dude with facial hair. I can't That's name a to Korean do. dude. Is, me neither. Dude. Well, now, Chen, is your dad hairy? Uh, he could be if you wanted to. Is it's your mom facial. hairy? Oh, I love is your mom hairy? Mom, no. Good. You ever seen a hairy uh, a Korean girl or Asian girl? There's Yeah, I've seen one on um, <laughs> E-Bomb's World. Um, but what nice. I'm saying is this, dude. You, uh, I like a mustache on a black man. Now, that's something you don't see very much. Don't fucking don't touch, touch me, Don't dude. fucking touch me. Uh, yeah, I agree. It looks better on uh, black men, the yeah. mustache. So I'd but say beards look better on white dudes. It's very Ren fair. It's very Ren fair if you're a white guy in a mustache. Dude, if you're from Spain and you got a mustache, you fucking all the girls. Oh, yeah. You'll fuck a bull. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I say king them. Oh, uh, God. I say sting it, bro. Sting the mustache. It just ain't. The fifties are gone. Unless your name's Tom Selleck, it's over, bro. But it's, it also keeps cool. your face warm. Imagine he is. That. He is from Michigan. Yeah. So his isn't bad. If you're in California, the mustache, you a creep. Yeah. What else you got? All right. The name of the next guy is Keegan Heimer. Keegan Heimer. Keegan Heimer. Heimer. What's going on, Brandon? Ooh. What's going on, Theo? Rat King. Gang. Bro. How's it going, guys? I know a person. lot of people have been doing these vapes here. Oh yeah. So, uh, what what are y'all's thoughts? King it or sting it? Get that smoke, baby boy. Mm, suck it, boy. As always, much love to both of you guys. Keep on keeping on. You guys fucking rock, boy. Get that hitter. Yeah, oh, boy. He shit. went hard with he went to get that hard. hitter. Took and he blew that puff, smoke puff, out of his face. Puff, puff, give. And that guy looks like he might not be alive very long. And that no, yeah. was Brandon? Yeah. No, he called Brandon Brandon. His name was Keegan. Oh, that's oh, Keegan. Motherfucker. That's Keegan Kyle. Yeah. He's saucy smoking. Yeah. Uh, he took a real rip off the, the vape pen. I don't mind the vape pen, especially when they got those delicious flavors that they oh market to God. kids, like the unicorn cream, oh, or yeah. they got the fucking banana split, or they got the poppy seed fucking blueberry. Yeah. Have you smelled some of that shit? Dude, they It's have... a delight when you run through that cloud of smoke. Oh, my God, It's bro. like a treat for the day. Yeah, you get that creme brulee, and that's a basic mm. hitter you get. You get that creme brulee, my God, dude, it'll make you fucking babysit your own dick. Dude, I saw a dude just smoke that tiramisu, oh. and it was delicious. Dude, I would now that is something. I'd let somebody blow a puff of uh, fucking, they have crunchy peanut butter, and I'd let somebody blow a chunk of that right in my ass, man. The smoke, I mean, <laughs> no. it's not the actual content. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, yeah that's intense. But yeah, bro. vape pens, man. It's like having a little choo-choo train just pull right into your fucking face all the a time. Flavor, Flavorville, baby. Yeah, it's Flavorville full of smoke. Imagine somebody just ties a bunch of Doritos to a baseball bat and just beats you in the fucking lungs with it. Oh, and fuck, that's what I that's love nice. about it. Fuck God, yeah! Damn, punch boy. them Cheetos in my lungs, <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Dude. It's like somebody filling your mouth with fucking bananas and just beating the fuck out of you. Yeah, you ever had that brisket vape? Oh, oh bro. That smoked loin, brother. That barbecue chicken <laughs> vape, baby. Damn, boy, that fucking smoked loin. The tender Blow loins. That. Blow that loin into my face. <laughs> I'm, I definitely king this shit. Yeah, it's beautiful. American cheese is a flavor too that I've had. There's all kind of oh, flavors. Oh, that you can sweet get. cheddar cheese vape, bro. No, 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 just American cheese. That no, basic no, no, yellow. sweet cheddar, bro. Oh, I haven't had sweet cheddar. Oh, uh, you got you're missing out. Yeah, from England. The final submission is Alex Wark. Can you understand? Okay. 
right. Alex All Wark. Right, Alex, maybe what's black up, guy, maybe? No, come on. What's his last name? Canadian? Wark. Wark? Wark. German. Wark. Hey, Ooh, it's your boy, Alex from Nashville, Tennessee. I got a here. question for the Rat King and the Beast. Men's thongs. Thoughts? Oh, he looks like he rocks a thong. He had a nice set of hair on him, too. Real proper. <laughs> He's a hairy dude. Now, in the gay community, they call him a bear. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they call him uh, just a big, beautiful bear. Yep. Look at that boy. I mean, he's healthy. But yeah, he had to trim up that beard, too, because it's running down. You know when the beard connects to your chest hair? Mm -hmm. That's what's going on there. Look at his hair, though. That shit is real proper. <laughs> yeah, And he, I tell you what, that dude's never been punched in the face. He don't have a wrinkle on his fucking Beautiful eyes. skin. I'd fucking Beautiful skin. buy some stem cells off of that boy. Me, too, man. I'd take them. You I'd know? take them stem cells. Oh, dude. You can shoot them right in my ass. Ass. directly to my eyeballs, I was going to say. All right. My ass is definitely could have picked many other orifices. Nah, man. It gets right to the system. Oh, dude, I'll fucking pull the uh, molars out of that question? guy's face with pliers and put them out of my own mouth. Beautiful teeth. I'll suck on his eyeballs. Get the, Strong. Get the nutrients, baby. Strong jaws, dude. I'll fucking part that dude's shoulder hair with my tongue. <laughs> Men's yeah. thongs. Men's thongs. That's a handsome big dude, though. The men Men's thong, thong man. bro. It's I'm... basically like floss for your asshole. Imagine... Dude, I have a hard time not getting shit stains in my undies now, let yeah. alone a thong. It's exhausting being a dude not to get shit stains. I don't yeah. even know dudes that wear white undies. You yeah. don't wear white undies. Not anymore. What a horrible idea that was. Horrible. Yeah. Hey, look at the shit I had near hey, me. Hey, look at the pee-pee yeah. stains in the front, the shit streaks in the back, <laughs> y'all. Why would you? Why in the world? You ever seen a girl in a white thong? Never. Never. There's a reason for that. In a commercial, maybe once in a while for a half hour, they'll do it, like in the summer. Yeah, but I mean, she's fully fucking hosed down with yeah. water. Hosed down. Immediately, immediately before and after yeah otherwise you got problems and also if a thong what if you're like you know in a car ride or you're driving all day and you just have a piece of just cotton stuff by your asshole i ain't doing that dude i, nah, I don't want that fucking razor blade through my asshole it's not sharp i don't think it's cotton dude it's 100 percent no they're sharp probably. bro those after a while those thongs get or pile especially once you mix in the fluids that thing starts to form a sharp Ugh. blade bro well, that's another thing. That thing's going to feel like a damn bra strap if you wear it for Oof. a couple days, you know? And why, why, as a dude, why would you wear that, though? I feel bad for girls. I, oh, I, yeah. I love them. That's I a, love them. But yeah. the bigger question is, why in the fuck does Fruit of the Loom and BVD make white draws only, really? Unbelievable. Whose idea was that? Who wants to see that fucking drip? God damn, dude. Unbelievable. Of course, everyone has pee pee stains. I don't care who you are. I shake that shit twice. Mm -hmm. That shit still drips. Oh, I'll even drip it into my hand, like kind of squeeze it out of my oh. hand and then wash my hand in the sink. Oh, you squeeze it like uh, like a toothpaste kind of thing? No. Not like roll up my dick or You'll anything. You'll wring it out? Yeah, kind of. Not I shake it. You know what? I lie. I don't even shake it. I'll get a little drip on my hand, then fuck it. <laughs> okay guy okay swine flu guy wow dude old fucking dirty dick over here <laughs> little beepy hands over here yeah bro. dude i'm just saying white undies make no sense and a thong sure as fuck doesn't make sense yeah sting it and bro if you send us that video with a thong on i salute you sir bro and if you Cause your ass is so hairy yeah you got so much hair down there bro i oh, say dude. no on the thong onward cool that's it for king and her sting it and before we go, we're going to launch a new segment. It's the inaugural Flaunt My Aunt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Let's do I'm it. Sorry for this. Let's do it. For the fans out there, submit your picture of your aunt, uncle, nieces, nephews, older, obviously, uh, grandma, grandpa, mom, mm -hmm. dad, step, stepdad, whatever you want, man. Yeah. And then we'll chime in, just tell you how we feel about them. Yeah, don't send any children. That's don't not send a good any idea. children. And that's let's a, just do that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, you just had about seven bad ideas in a row, bro. You're like a, a bad idea. Like uh, I'm like an infomercial late at night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're you're, terrible ideas. You want stamps? <laughs> you're like an AK-47 <laughs> of bad ideas. Um, send in pictures of your aunt and may and the, yeah, we can any family to, oh, member who of is of age. Of age. Yes. Yes. I, Girlfriends, boyfriends. Uh, here, here's my submission first. This is my aunt Debbie. 
She's on the left. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hey, zoom in, bro. Oh, Whoa! Oh, shit. Who is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's Chin's aunt. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Dude, zo- oh, shit. <laughs> I knew you guys were going to love that. Fuck yeah, Chin. Hold on. Zoom in on this ant. Hey, can you zoom, zoom in, in bro? Yeah, yeah. Bro. Let's let's get fuck, that bro. Let's get that ant cam going. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who's Mr. Steal Your Man on the right, though? <laughs> is that your grandma with that perm? That's my grandma, Kay, who raised me. Damn, flaunting. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> and you and Grandma K look alike, honestly. Yeah, he, yeah, she's definitely has more style than you, bro. Aunt K's doing the damn thing. Can we zoom in? Yeah, one sec. Oh, that zoom because your aunt could be anyone on the left right now. I can't thing see. Do it. Your grandma's oh. swaggy, swaggy, bro. My, she's eighty-four years old in that picture. Damn, she's still alive. Yep. Damn, your no, grandma's leave her super. Alone. She's married, bro. <laughs> she's still alive. No, she's what not. She's 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 single. I, Brendan, you have my blessing. No, I, I, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? What is going on in here? <laughs> what is happening right here? Can know. you just, will you mind zooming in for a second? You ain't, the, there you go. Well, I can see her from there. All right, can we scroll up a little on her so we can just get the full. She got the dog, the bounty hunter sunglasses on, though. That's and how it works name? back then. That it, That is Aunt Debbie. Okay. Wow. And All right, Debbie, Debra. I like that. She's got that old Navy performance fleece that she's rocking. <laughs> she's out there. She's got those. She's uh, got just the land ends jeans on. Very land end. Yeah, she's at bro. the end of the land. She's on there on a on a um. She's looking out on some water. Dude, I'm distracted by your by your grandma with the <laughs> booty perked out and the fucking. Oh she's in the Texas tuxedo oh, and the yeah. perm, bro, with the gold chain. She looks like Carrie your Von Eric. Your grandma is yeah. fucking flossy, bro. She looks like Carrie Von Eric's stepdaddy. Bro, she looks fucking beautiful right there. Hell here, yeah. Grandmother. She looked like she was a fucking side piece of David Bowie back in the oh, day. Oh, she definitely looked like she hung out around the Alamo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and picked up a lot yeah. of boys, you know? Yep. She, she looked like she hung lady. around Staples Centers in the in the 60s, what? you know what I'm saying? Whoa, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, guy. This is <laughs> flaunt my aunt, bro. <laughs> We're focusing on my aunt. Yeah, my well, grandma it's tough. Your grandma's Sorry. fucking swaggy pee over here, bro. <laughs> Very beautiful. And I'll say this about the aunt. She's a blonde. She's a natural blonde, you know? And she's got the sunshine in her hair, and she's out there looking. You know, she um, <laughs> has two arms, two legs. Mm-hmm. She loves to rescue animals, if that helps. Wow, she loves to rescue animals. <laughs> nice she lady. Fucking, yeah. She looks nice. She looks like the type of woman who just take you off the street and give you a cup of cocoa and a nice fucking sweater from Eddie Bauer. Yes, yeah, she definitely seemed like she'd get you that Eddie Bauer. Uh, she she looks dessert. like she has just hot dogs on her all the time to Look, feed the homeless. Yep, feed. Well, yeah. That's see, a good thing, bro. I could see her with a little treat, a snack, to make sure everybody stays healthy and hydrated. She I looks could, like she has peppermints in her pocket. Yeah, I could see her maybe with a man or something. Not yet. Give her another five or six years before she's now, running Now, where are they posted up at this picture? Uh, this is someplace on the Mississippi River. Uh, she, <laughs> Brownsville, Minnesota, and La Crosse, Wisconsin. One of the two. Damn, that, your aunt said, hold up, bitch. Let me post up right <laughs> quick. And your aunt seems like a lady that definitely probably you know i would say she seemed like she watches if she had a show that she watched i bet probably ncis oh uh, you think yep hmm she looks like she watches my 600 pound life like she just she just fucking binge watches tlc like oh, she's down for born this way she's down for fucking the transgender show the roll-offs and pumpkin farmers of the little ones yeah the little ones who fucking rich as fuck but they're mean they're midgets. I'm not super sure of her viewing habits, but she did when I was back home. She made me write down the name of this show, so she will be checking. Oh, that's this cool. Out. Your grandma <laughs> looks like she's she watches Wild and Out. Oh, definitely. Yeah, your grandma's your grandma, swaggy, yeah. bro. She loves action movies. We watched Skyscraper when I was back home. Fuck yeah, <laughs> oh, I bet dude. you do. I, I bet you do, bro. Yeah, I bet she watches <laughs> Wild and Out and just fucking rips all the yeah. Nick Cannon lines and shit. <laughs> she looks like the white uh, Spike Lee a little bit, but sexier and a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and more accomplished and more accomplished yeah Dude, I mean, how she's ri- your grandma's cool. rich she looks like she has some money your grandma looks like she has a rolex underneath that fucking texan tuxedo oh, well damn. she cleans up nice brother yeah she, she beautiful does there and uh look at the multiple and, gold chains bro and dude i'll say this she's swagging more than debbie is in this picture it's not even close <laughs> debbie uh, should have brought it you know what grandma th- was bringing it and De- debbie debbie was like ah fuck grandma uh, i didn't know we were going full out today that's true that's true debbie is married though so she's not my, my grandma's single right. and looking looking oh, to mingle. She's, <laughs> oh your grandma hungry eyes. <laughs> yeah yeah your grandma got the hungry fucking blurry eyes well uh, 
calm down. Um, <laughs> and it's great to see both of these women. She actually just had cataract surgery, so she's oh, seeing she clear. Did? That's what I'm saying. So all but, she can see but is But before, cats. she was like looking. She was thirsty, but it's the way it goes, bro. She's I quiet. had surgery on my eyes. I couldn't see forever. Well, look. I was sitting up with dudes for the long time. So I got my <laughs> eyes worked on. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you look like shit. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get another aunt. Beautiful Debbie. Thank you. Flaunt my own. Shout out to your motherfucking Swaggy P grandma, bro. <laughs> hey, can you leave her alone? <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> and Shin's aunt. Oh! Ooh, wait! Whoa! What the fuck is your aunt's name, Chin? Hannah. What is it? Aunt Hannah. Aunt Anna? Aunt Hannah. Duh. Aunt Hannah? That ain't God damn. Aunt, Aunt Hannah, <laughs> hey, with all respect, <laughs> can get it! Oh, bro, give it up. Get away Give from it up, me, bro. Dude. Give it up with your sweats, bro. Don't touch dude, me. Dude, I cotton. fucking knew Chin was holding out. <laughs> dude, your aunt fucking some houses on her, bro. <laughs> and this is no disrespect, Chin. <laughs> Zero, bro. Wow. Is she single? No, she's not single. She's married to your uncle? She's married to my uncle. They have kids? They got kids. You're fucking right, they yeah, do. Look at right. that mommy. <laughs> Look at that fucking mommy. She a blood aunt? Yeah. Damn, she's so Korean? Get, there's part, a little bit of Korean in there. Wow. God damn, yeah. I bet. Yeah. I'd chop it down, bro. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Fucking right dude? you would. Oh, I'd, I'd share a fucking double scoop of orange chicken with her and talk about things. Oh, oh I'd yeah. karate kick her right into my bed, bro. What I'm talking about is... <laughs> She seemed, like a, she seemed like a nice lady. Dude, I'd watch a marathon of fucking The Last Samurai with her with my dick out. <laughs> hey, man. Jesus, dude, just flaunt my aunt. Yeah, this, this is all good, bro. These are go compliments. To, where did she go to school at, Jen? Harvard. In Texas. Yeah. Har ever yeah, heard of it? Harvard? Sure. Well, there's a lot of schools in Texas, yeah, and there's a sure. lot of not schools in Texas. Um, <laughs> she looks like a nice lady. Did she bartend or not? <laughs> That's a good guess, though. I yeah. think when she was younger, she definitely did. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yeah, fucking right, she did. I bet yeah. she made bang, bro. <laughs> What's your uncle look like? <laughs> like a regular dude. Oh, yeah? Is he Asian it's, or not? Is, he out, is yeah. he out kicking his coverage? Out <laughs> kicking his coverage? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, he's, he's a lucky dude, I'd say. He's a pretty lucky yeah. dude. That he looks like shit? <laughs> no, he's, he's no, he said he's a nice-looking nice guy. Yeah. Jesus, guys. But he's lucky well, to Well, my uncles look like shit. There's nothing well, wrong with that. Your, it's flaunt your aunt, dude. Yeah. Say something nice about the <laughs> thing. Like, uh, uh, uncle, I haven't said... No, I've been hating you on... You said this. I'd fuck her behind a, at a bar. <laughs> no, I didn't. You asked if she were, if she fucking can put tequila together. <laughs> oh, does she drink a lot? I don't fucking know. She does Does she go to a lot of raves? She do a lot of ecstasy on the weekends. Fuck, I don't know, man. But she looks like she's down. Yeah, what? Down to hang out and she's have a good time. Party. Yeah. She How seems, old is she? Yeah. yeah. That's a good question. I think maybe in like mid 40s. Dude, that's, oh, that's the great. thing about Asians, bro. You need to get you an Asian deal. Oh. You cannot tell. They don't age. But then 80 comes. Boom, Cinderella, Father yeah. Time. They age like <laughs> fruit. Oh, they disappear at night. They turn into a um, yellow squash. But I'll say this, dude. Dude, Chen's aunt. Actually, uh, late 40s, if not 50s. Oh, late wow. 40s, yeah. Late dude, 40s, she beautiful. is. And was she, she got a ever, body on her, Chen. <laughs> it seemed like she was in the gold rush or something. She has a very, you know, kind of authentic sort of look, kind of, you know? Her like hair it, used to be like up here the texas big texas hair so oh, she's trimmed it down a little bit but it's still high and she has a she has a little bit of southern twang too that texas twang, twang. Sure. Oh, come oh, here bro. honey calls her own honey yep, Ooh -wee. Oh, I, she looks like she me makes a mean fucking bits and gravy she's, she makes such good food in texas home. food brisket. i can see that brisket. Brisket. she makes brisket the best this brisket. is wifey son <laughs> how many kids uh three oh, and they're all your age three? now no they're younger oh yeah i could see that Damn. She seemed like somebody that would get water from the river and like just yeah. no medicine. Does she know anything about medicine or she medicinal? She does. She yep. looks like she gives a good- Natural cures. Natural she looks like cures. she gives a good back rub and then reads fucking tarot cards. She's strong. Oh, dude. I'd let strong. that lady beat the shit out of me, dude. Oh, me too. Does she know, <laughs> you know Kung Fu? She knows Taekwondo probably a little I bit. I fucking knew it, man. She looks like it. Bro, I'd she looks let like that she lady, can handle herself. Oh, man. I'd let her run over me with a car until I came. Dude, you know? I would I would <laughs> share a full rack of ribs with her at Chili's. Wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, she seems like a nice lady. And a milkshake. Very nice lady. She seems super nice. Yep, flaunt my aunt. Flaunt my aunt. <laughs> Shout out to Chin's aunt. <laughs> Shout out to fucking Nick's grandma <laughs> okay. for the sidekick there, right? The aunt just got out shine. Shout out to Nick's grandma, bro. Bro. Hey, dude. I think we got a segment here, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, we might. Dude. I got hype for your family, bro. <laughs> I got hype for your family, bro. Oh, wow, dude. Calm down, guys. No, I can't. Think about Chin's aunt and Nick's grandma, bro. <laughs> I just want Nick and Chin to make it out of here safely today. <laughs> dude, I, me too. I went 
Because they got the same DNA in them. Um, Well, look, I think this is another good practice episode. Me too, man. The real thing kicks off next week. Real studio, real fucking production. Yep. The real bullets are a flying. Nick's grandma's going to be in studio. (laughs) (laughs) It would be nice to have her in. Hell yeah. Dripping that swaggy pee on that (laughs) ass, son. Bringing fucking mints and shit. It'd be sick. Wow, bro. She's that next. She's a new Rihanna, bro. Hell yeah. I'm about to slide into Chin's aunt's DMs and shit just to say what's up yeah. and get the brisket menu. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's all I'm doing. A lot of beautiful ladies. Uh, I want to thank a lot of the young men also that sent in videos today. All the Everyone who sent the videos. You guys make this show happen. Yep. So the topics you come up with, if this show's good, it's because of you guys and the submissions and all that. So keep submitting them. Uh, and then again, the best of, and if you disagree, agree, maybe you have better points. I'm sure you guys have better points than us. Submit those videos. So you get seen on the fucking YouTube page on Friday. Yeah. We're going to put the follow up episode on Friday and that'll encapsulate like you guys' thoughts on the debates and on the King and her sting it. And then also send the pictures of your aunts, uncles, grandmas, dad, mom, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever you want, so we can <laughs> flaunt your aunt, baby. That shit got me hyped. Dude, call that, Dude, bro. Jen's aunt is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's crazy. Yeah, crazy for fucking Nick's grandma. <laughs> okay, we heard Sorry, you. Sorry, bro. All right, we got to get out of here. I'm I getting out of here. Yeah, I got to get out of here before I get arrested. I've got long hair. I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> this guy's off of